Hello Taurus, welcome to your general love reading and also welcome to my channel Innate Wisdom. This is Agnes, I'm an intuitive and a tarot card reader. I do general love readings for the collective and also for each zodiac sign bi-weekly. If you like my videos, please give them the thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel. Now, these messages are general and may not resonate for all of you. So let's get started with this general love reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. And let's see what your person is up to right now as far as their feelings about this situation with you or their thoughts about this situation. So let's see what's going on with them. The person on your mind, Taurus, the person that you're interested in. This is the King of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Moon. So this person seems to be kind of keeping things to themselves. Here's this Moon energy, which can indicate secrets, but at the very least, it indicates that things are going on underneath the surface. Um, and this person could be kind of haunted by these things. Um, it could be giving them a lot of anxiety about something. I feel like they have deep-seated fears and issues maybe with abandonment and wanting to please people, wanting to live up to expectations. And it's the anxiety is coming from maybe questioning what if they don't live up to these expectations, you know, what's going to happen then? Are they going to be abandoned? Are they going to be not loved? You know, and, and so this is, it's almost like it's creating a lot of fears and anxieties within them. And I feel like with regards to you in this situation, this person wants to come towards you. Here's this King of Wands. It indicates also a lot of fire, a lot of passion, a lot of attraction. And maybe the air is very hot between the two of you. Uh, I'm also getting a deep connection as far as sexuality goes. And uh, I'm also picking up on a water sign person, maybe Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, especially Scorpio for some reason. Um, it could be any sign, but this is just a, the general tendency right now that's coming Scorpio type energy. And this person is also about to have a sudden clarity. Here's this Ace of Swords. Something is becoming clear to them or it has become clear to them recently. Um, it's almost like it could be also that one of their secrets has surfaced and became known. Maybe something that they have tried to avoid or tried to avoid talking about. It's almost like something bubbled up from underneath the surface. But it just feels like there's a sudden clarity coming to them, something that lifts up the heaviness from this uh, situation. It feels like this is in the future, like it's about to happen, it's happening right now. Um, so let's get some clarifications. And for that, I'm gonna be using a different deck. This is gonna be the Healing Light Tarot. So let's see, what is it that we need to know about this Ace of Swords here? Because it also can indicate a brand new cycle between the two of you. Okay, well, we have the moon energy again showing up. And actually, we have a couple of more cards here. So I'm just going to lay them all out here. So the Six of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Moon showed up again. And so the Moon energy showing up twice is just really uh, confirming the presence of some things that are going on beneath the surface. Some, something that's really weighing on this person, especially in combination with this Nine of Swords. It's really giving them a lot of up in the head energy about this issue, whatever this is. And I feel like this is where the clarity is coming in. It's coming in as a helping type energy um, because this mental stress that, that the Nine of Swords is talking about, it's really putting distance between the two of you. I feel like this person tends to be up in the head, tends to keep uh, their emotions uh, they're trying to really close off their emotions because once they start feeling the emotions, it's all this moon energy is coming to the surface and it really feels uncomfortable for them. This is what it seems like to me. And then here's the six of ones, which is a victory card. It's about, you know, feeling like you're on top of the world. I feel like this is what happens once that Ace of Swords energy clarifies something for this person. It's almost like lifts away a heavy cloud from this person. And it feels like they will become more at ease about something. So that's the initial information that I'm getting. Taurus, so let's see now what's going on with your energies. Let's see what's your side of the story about this situation, Taurus. Taurus. 
and we have the page of cups the nine of coins and the queen of wands and here's the queen of wands here we had the king of wands if you remember so we have a matching pair here a king and a queen and it does feel like you two belong together and this is something that you both feel but the fact that it came up these cards came up in different rows um it feels like the two of you may not be yet on the same wavelength, but you have the same type of energy. I feel like you are on the same wavelength in many ways, especially with the chemistry and the attraction being very hot here between the two of you. Maybe there's also in intense sexuality. And I feel like there's something separating the two of you right now or something is creating tension between the two of you. And then we have the page of cups here. And so if the two of you are not communicating right now I feel like you will be communicating the page of cups indicates not only a new cycle starting or the possibility of a new cycle but it also indicates messages coming from the heart so I don't know who is contacting whom this could be either or it could be you contacted them could be that they contact you and uh, it's gonna feel good to the heart that's that's what I'm feeling here and also the nine of coins indicates right here in the middle this indicates that you're not doing all that bad maybe you're um, you know you're focusing on your work your money your stability and it feels like you're very independent and you're kind of enjoying that um, and it feels that you're more confident than your person. I, I'm just, I just have this air of confidence about you that I'm picking up on and you really know what you want. You are decisive and um, you're, you're going after your dreams. You're going after what you want. You have no problem with that, I feel. So let's get some clarification now about um, the Page of Cups. Let's see what we need to know about the Page of Cups, please. And this is the Hierophant. And I feel like, you know, this is a brand new cycle that could be beginning between the two of you that could be leading to commitment, committed relationship. Let's see what else do we want to know. Because uh, the Hierophant can also indicate in some cases um, that there's some kind of rigidity, um, rigidity and around beliefs or ideas. Let's see what else do we need to know about this. The Queen of Wands again. And you know, this card is actually telling me that once you two start communicating, it's going to go very fast. It feels like there's a lot of energy between the two of you, a lot of energetic exchange and a lot of passion. And I feel like there's also forward movement here. And I feel like it's moving towards commitment. All right, so that's the initial information about this situation. Let's now check out your person's current feelings for you, Taurus. And we have the Seven of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. Now the Six of Wands is showing up again. All right, now here I'm picking up on a Leo type energy, and um, but could be also another fire sign such as Aries or Sagittarius. And when I say uh, something about their signs, it's not only their sun sign, but it could be their moon or their Venus, their rising sign. So as far as their current feelings for you, um, I feel like this person is kind of reserved about these. They're not really open with regards to their feelings. Here's the seven of wands, which indicates that they're kind of guarding their heart. They're not really open from the heart. And also the seven of wands indicates that there's perseverance, that they're not giving up, but it feels like they're really preserving their energies it's almost like they're not giving it voice yet they're holding on to their energies so from the three of pentacles i'm picking up that there might be a lot of blocks roadblocks to commitment whenever you're working on stabilizing this relationship it just seems like problems start arising you know problem after problem and um, the six of wands though indicates that this person, I was already picking up on kind of like a little bit of self, being self-absorbed and maybe being a little arrogant. Well, this is coming now in this sense. The Six of Wands is now kind of bringing in this spread of cards that this person could be maybe standing in the spotlight. Maybe they're loving that. Maybe they love the attention and it's like they want to shine. It just feels like they're spending their energy on themselves right now. 
So let's get some clarifications. Let's see what we need to know about the 601s, please. And this is the eight of wands. It feels like many things are happening around them. There's lots of uh, communication. I don't know if this person has, um, maybe their job is with communication or something with communication, but I feel like uh, they're involved in something that's fast moving. They could be using their passion. Maybe they're traveling some place. Maybe they're, that's what they do for work, but I don't know where this is coming from that they're doing this for work but it's almost like this is part of their their every days from the eight of ones i feel like this person really wants to talk to you there's a lot that they want to tell you and um, it's also like they really miss your attention they want your attention focusing on them as well and so there might be a lot of communication in order to draw your attention to them so let's see what we need to know about the three of pentacles And that's the five of ones. This is uh, about expression of anger. And I feel like this could be power struggles. The five of ones indicates a crisis that uh, could be based on anger or repressed anger. Somebody is not being heard, I feel. And um, this is about power struggle. It's maybe the two of you have strong egos. So this is about the ego fights when their egos disagree and they really cannot find a common denominator, how to move forward or what to do about this uh, uh, issues with the commitment. Let's see what we need to know about the seven of ones. This is the two of swords. So there's something that this person cannot decide about. They are just unable to come to a final decision. Maybe that's why they're kind of keeping their energies preserved right now. They're not letting you know how they feel. They're not open from the heart because they're struggling with making a decision. And the reason that they're struggling is because they're not really able to to bring in their emotions into this decision-making process. It's almost like they're shutting their hearts out. Let's see, why is that? Why is it that they're afraid to connect with their emotions? And this is the five of swords. Hmm. It feels like, you know, there's more crisis here. Uh, and I feel like this could be very much to do with that moon energy. This feels like internal conflicts where they almost are like, like they're kicking themselves for something. I feel like there's also guilt coming up from beneath the surface. Um, and I, I really feel like they're struggling internally with something. They have uh, maybe some issues with self-confidence, with... Uh, being accepted is something specific that, that is coming right now. So also this five of swords could indicate the conflicts between the two of you that are unresolved. But I mean, these are heavy conflicts, much heavier than, uh, than the five of ones type conflicts. The five of ones is about ego fights. Now this one is, it could be about mind games even or a manipulation. That's what I feel about their current feelings. This is the situation. This is the current standing energetically. This is what the cards are talking about. So let's now see what is it that we need to know about your person Taurus through the love oracle cards what do we need to know about this person of yours Taurus okay this one wants to come out talking interested conversing more awaited message arrives text call email or hoovering so I feel like there's gonna be messaging like I have picked up on uh, there could be even hoovering um so it just depends on what this five of swords is about. Like I said, it could be about manipulation and the word hoovering is actually referring to that um, when they're emotionally, um, when somebody is emotionally manipulating a person to come back to them. A lot depends on how the two of you are using your energies. That's what I feel. But I, I definitely feel like you, you're going to be talking to this person. So let's see what else do we need to know about them. Boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. So this, uh, this closure issues is actually bringing me two stories. Uh, one is that the two of you cannot do without each other. 
and the other is that your person is not able to close off a cycle in their life. It's, uh, it could be a different uh, life area. It doesn't have to be a romantic cycle. It could be something from their past. It could be even an active memory, a memory that they're remembering from their past that's still presenting an issue. So it feels like they're unable to move on from something. And that thing is kind of creating tension between the two of you. That's, what, that's just what I'm picking up on right now. So let's see now their probable future actions towards you, Taurus. And the Knight of Swords. Three of Swords. And the Seven of Cups. You know... Um, could it be that this is a love triangle and you're getting hurt from uh, this coming to the surface? Or maybe this is what hurt you. Maybe this is why the two of you are separated because I did feel like something is separating the two of you. And I feel like this person is not the committing type. Maybe they're afraid of commitment or maybe they cannot commit because they're already committed to somebody else. Here's the Seven of Cups could very much indicate that they have multiple options. But if it's not multiple options, um, they're still unable to make a clear decision. And I feel like this is about commitment. They cannot make a decision about commitment. And that's hurting you. That's like breaking your heart. The Three of Swords is very much about heartbreak heartache. This is something that hasn't been processed yet. Um, so this could be even a uh, past memory of something going bad between the two of you, or it could be that this person is like, they're doing it again. You know, the Knight of Swords is, is a character who acts unreliable. They cannot be trusted. They cannot be depended upon. Whatever they say, it may not be that way. They might have a lot of promises for you. They might say a lot of things, um, very few of which can be, um, can be expected to be done. Uh, so it feels like they might be very communicative, but on the other hand, they are just uh, not commitment. They, they cannot be trusted. They're not committing. They're running away from conflicts. And I also feel like you might have trouble having serious conversations with them. If you want to have serious conversations, it's almost like it's going into fights. This is just what I'm picking up on from that five of swords that showed up earlier. Here's the three of swords. I feel like... Uh, there's a broken heart situation here that's separating the two of you. Also, this person is very much afraid of feeling their emotions. They're kind of shutting their heart out. This is coming up for the future energies as well. And therefore, the distance, the separation between the two of you. So they might be acting cold and distant. So let's get some clarifications. What do we need to know about the Seven of Cups, please? What do we need to know about the Seven of Cups? And the Seven of Cups is clarifying it. So I feel like this person is definitely confused. And uh, I'm also getting that they're hiding uh, some of these cups that, uh, that play a part in their lives. It doesn't have to be all romantic options. Uh, it could be that their attention is being drawn away towards a romantic option, towards their parents, towards kids, towards their career, traveling having fun or whatever, but I feel like there's multiple things playing a part in their lives and it's almost like they're putting you on the back burner. So let's see, um, what do we need to know about the, um, the Three of Swords, please? The Chariot. You know, from the chariot, again, I, I just feel like they have multiple options because I, I'm picking up on hesitations from this card and um, hesitation about multiple options. And uh, it's almost like this person is being driven into two different directions or maybe even more than two different directions in the areas of what I already said about the Seven of Cups. Let's see what we need to know about the Knight of Swords.
and this is the three of wands. It's like you're waiting on this person forever. Maybe you have been waiting on them and it seems like uh, they're going to ma be making you wait some more. And also the fact that the symbolism of the three has shown up again. I'm just getting that love triangle idea again. Um, maybe there's multiple parties, but you know, if not romantic option, there's something else that's, that's putting an obstacle in the way of the two of you starting your journeys together. Okay, because that's what the three of ones is about. It's full of optimism, full of waiting to get this new, new cycle going to, to basically start your journeys together. Okay, let's see if this person had a message for you, what would it be? The chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. That fear of abandonment, I already picked up on from that moon energy. I just feel like the two of you cannot be completely separated. It's almost like the two of you can't do without the other. On the other hand, when it comes to commitment, that also seems to be almost like a mission impossible. So let's see what else would this person want to tell you. Kisses. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. This person is resisting that, uh, resisting the falling in love aspect. Not, not that they're resisting it. They're, they're resisting feeling their emotions. They have already fallen for you, but they're resisting feeling that. So I feel like this uh, kisses card is blocked, but I feel like, you know, in the subconscious, they are sending you kisses. All right. So let's see where this relationship is headed right now. What is the next stage in this relationship? Many times this next stage is actually talking about the challenges that you might be getting in this uh, relationship that are up for resolution. So let's see what the tarot is saying. What's the next stage? The nine of ones. And we have the six of swords. And the four of pentacles or the four of coins. And I feel like there's generally distance keeping still. Um, now, this is not just your person's energy. This is the both of your energies. This is the, the common energies here uh, that are affecting this relationship. So I feel like there's, first of all, a lack of energy. It's almost like the relationship is feeling tired and drained. It feels like maybe there's a lot of fighting behind you. There's also the lack of trust, maybe even suspicion. You know, what else is this person going to do to me? Are they going to hurt me again? So this is that type of um, uh, energy, the 901s. And uh, the Six of Swords is about distance keeping. So there's either physical distance between the two of you or emotional and mental distance. It's almost like... Mm, the two of you are being separated. It's either intentionally or due to the circumstances, but something is separating the two of you. And the four of coins, you know, this is about the hearts not being open. Uh, somebody is not letting go of the past. Uh, somebody is, um, it's, it's almost like closing off their heart. Somebody does not want to let somebody close to their heart. They're not really open to change. I just feel like whoever this is, uh, this energy belongs to, but it, it feels like the relationship dynamic itself, um, it, the hearts are not open in this dynamic. That's what I'm picking up on from the four of coins, the four of pentacles. There's also a certain rigidity here. So let's get some clarifications first for the nine of ones. What do we need to know about the nine of ones? This is the hermit and the hermit energy is actually showing up as a helper here. You know, when the hermit shows up, it means that it's time to do some introspection. And if you're able to do that, maybe you can realize your path and what is blocking you on your path. And those blocks could actually be released because that's the, the hermit energy. That's how it can help. And I feel like if that's, if this is done, both of you release something that you're hanging on to or, both, or some burdens that you're still carrying around. I feel like this uh, relationship will have more energy and it will not be drained. So let's see, what do we need to know about the Six of Swords? 
for some reason I'm picking up that uh, dishonesty is involved here with the six of swords your person I feel like it's specific to your person but take it how it resonates that they're dishonest to themselves about what they want and that's why they're keeping their distance so let's see what do we need to know about the six of swords the king of wands yep they're kind of keeping their their willpower hidden it's like they're keeping their passion hidden because there's definitely a lot of passion between the two of you it's like they're trying to keep a lid on that they're trying to hide it they're not doing what they want they're doing something to please someone else it feels like okay what do we need to know about the four of pentacles And this is the Ten of Cups. It feels like the two of you aren't releasing the idea of you ending up together. You definitely keep each other in your hearts, even though um, there might be periods of separation. But I feel like this is a next stage, you know, and these um, could be up for resolution, like the hermit energy, you know. Why is this relationship so... Uh, drained of energy of forward movement and I feel like there's blocks that could be released and I feel all of these aspects could be boosted could be made better and of course this is just a stage all right Taurus that's what I have for you if you have someone on your mind and I'm going to be continuing with the singles next so Taurus if you are single or waiting on new love let's see what the tarot has in store for you for the near future and love and relationships let's see what's coming up for you single taurus and we have the five of wands the world and the star um it feels like in general the idea of a relationship you might feel like it's kind of out of reach but uh, of course this is an illusion and i feel like that there are things that you can heal around that will help you your heart to open up towards a connection because right now it just seems too far away maybe it seems like even a dream to be in a relationship maybe something that is unattainable but it feels like there are some crises that are within you here's uh, the five of ones which indicates uh, that maybe even some fights or arguments or some kind of a heavy crisis from a past relationship could be overshadowing your current feelings about um, a relationship in the future and I feel like something has to change maybe it's your outlook uh, something has to shift uh, you know the world card indicates that you have completed a cycle and I feel like um, this period of being single is coming to an end but it feels like at the same time it's necessary to allow yourself to see something differently, to let something go from the past. This is the world card. It's, it's like a completion of a cycle. And I feel like it's bringing the idea of the relationship down from the sky. It's actually bringing that star down that this card is symbolizing. So I feel like you will have the chance to connect with someone if you're able to let go of something, maybe even repressed anger from the past. So let's see some clarifications now. What do we need to know about the five of ones? And that's the Page of Pentacles. It feels like the Page of Pentacles is uh, clarifying that something new is on the horizon for you, something new that brings you stability. It may be a, a slow start to maybe this connection with uh, maybe an Earth sign person, such as a Capricorn, another Taurus. It could be also a Virgo. And I feel like it might start out friendly, like a friendship. I feel like it might be a slow connection uh, that starts out you know slowly but it's progressing towards commitment so let's see what do we need to know about the world card and the queen of pentacles 
You know, it feels like you long for stability and I feel like you are getting that. If you are able to close off this cycle, if you're able to let go of something such as the anger or maybe the past, past experiences, it's almost like you're making yourself more accepting with regards to a new relationship, um, with regards to commitment, with regards to trusting. So that's what I feel. Let's see what we need to know about the star energy. Uh, that's the seven of swords. You know, I'm getting a specific story here that you're not admitting to yourself uh, something. Maybe it, it feels like it's drawing me towards this angry energy with, with, to, with regards to this crisis. Almost like you're trying to say maybe to yourself that you're over that. It's, it's long gone. It's over. I don't want to think about it. But really what I'm sensing here is that it's under the carpet. And maybe it's uncomfortable to think about it, but it seems like there's still something that needs to be addressed around that energy. It feels like you're hiding it from yourself, which is further separating you from what you want, which is a relationship. All right, Taurus, so that's what I have for you if you are single. And thank you so much for being here. If you like my video, please press the like button and feel free to share. And have a wonderful day.